Drag and Drop is broken in DaVinci Resolve, but it's not that broken. It's a thing that gamers will be familiar with. It's called hitboxes. Welcome back to Create a Reality, my friend. Today, I want to teach you a workaround for not being able to drag things onto your timeline or drag effects onto clips already on your timeline. So I hope you enjoy. Let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what we're working with. Here I've got a timeline and I'm riding along and I wanna put a logo on there, right? So I'm gonna come over to my power bins and go into my logos and grab a logo, right? Except it won't let me drag it on. Look, it, it wants to move around, right? It's because I don't have a full height of a timeline uh, visible here. So I'm gonna alt mouse wheel to scroll in and you'll see that the top is cut off. If I grab the divider between video and audio tracks and drag it down, now you see this little blue line here, right? And if I wanna drag something else onto here, it works really easily, right? Control Z to undo. Now, I've seen professional YouTubers do this and they complained about it and I'm not besmirching anybody's good name, but I already understood what this problem was. It's because there's a hitbox that is defined by Resolve for objects on screen. It's apparently treating everything like an object, which is fine when they're fully visible. When they're not, you got you kind of have to do some weird things. So I want to drag an effect on. I'm going to go to my favorites, and I'm going to grab my logo pop. There's a video up here about it. I'm going to drag it on. You'll notice that it's not working. If I drag all the way to the top, see the white line around it? That means I can drag the effect on and it'll show up, but I moved my mouse cursor one pixel and it didn't. If I come all the way down to the bottom in this blue area, you can see that white line is back. I drag it. Now we have the fusion icon because this effect is here. Control Z to undo. Again, if I'm over here, it, ooh, look at that. It gives you a big red icon. You can't drag it on the, the playhead. Okay, fine. But there it is right at the top, but it's like one pixel wide and I keep missing it. And I see people do this all the time. But if you drag it to the bottom, it'll do that. Now, alternatively, I could grab that divider line, bring it down, Control-Z to undo, no more fusion icon, and now it'll let me drag it anywhere in here. See how that white line stays visible all the time? Like, that was pretty easy, right? That was an easy solution. But it also happens with transitions. Let me show you that real quick. So if I control Z to undo and I come over to my media pool and I grab something else, let's grab the DaVinci Resolve logo. Let's say I want to do a cross dissolve. So I'll come over to effects, video transitions and cross dissolve. It works just fine. Control Z to undo, grab our little divider line. We're just not showing the top pixel, right? Boom. Those top blue lines aren't there. Look at this. It won't let me drag it on. I have to come all the way to this blue area. Then it lets me drag it on. Job done, right? But John, I clicked on this video because my transition won't drop at all, even with that fix. Well, here's a bonus tip for you. You don't have enough handles. What are handles? They are extra frames that are not visible in the timeline, but exist in real life. For lack of a better way of explaining it, that's what I'm going with. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna grab a clip here. I'm gonna grab this clip, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna drag it over. Now we have a duplicate. See that red line? I can't drag it any further. But now it's green, I can drag it back. So if I drag in another clip here, let's get another clip in there, and I have snapping turned on, that's this icon right here, or the N key, it snaps right on, right? Well, let's disable the audio, or actually backspace and get rid of it. So now we have Two clips, let's alt mouse wheel and zoom in to where they butt up against each other. Red line to the right if I drag, and then if I wanna drag this one to the left, red. Now if I wanna cross dissolve, it won't work. And it actually won't work on either end. But if I grab the end, see that icon, and I drag back 15 frames, because I'm in a 30 FPS or 30 frames per second timeline, one second is 30 frames, and my transitions are set for a default of one second. So I need 15 frames on either end to be able to work. Now when I come over and I snap this on and I wanna drag the same cross dissolve on, it doesn't work there, but it will probably work here. No, cause I didn't drag 30. So I'll drag back another 15, 
and then butt this up and now it'll show up on the left hand side or the right hand side rather. There it is. Because now we need a full seconds worth of handles or extra frames to be able to drop our transition in. But John, I just wanted to transition between the two clips, not this crazy thing you're doing. Hold your horses, we're getting to that. Control Z to undo. We'll grab 15 frames from here, move this way over, we'll drag this all the way to the end, and then drag it back 15. So we have only 15 frames up worth of handles for each clip. And if I select this area and press backspace, it butts them up together. We grab our cross dissolve and boom, it works. And now it cross dissolved between the two clips. There you go. In less than seven minutes, you learned how to get around the whole hitbox of DaVinci Resolve dragging effects and clips and everything else on. It works for anything in the video tab or video tracks. And you learned how to make sure you have enough handles and what handles are to make sure your transitions will work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, boop the like button, maybe consider subscribing, ask a question down below in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out this one next. John out.